no place like the country club. 18 holes of immaculate golf, along with golf simulator, PGA staff, club fitting and lesson, driving range and practice green, pro shop, delicious food, endless fun in the pool, and activities for the whole family. Learn more and become a member today. Great news! If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up! Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. When property owners in Bismarck and Minot seek transformation, ServPro's construction program brings both vision and precision. From that very first hammer strike to the final touch of paint, our dedication remains unwavering. It's not just about remodeling, it's about legacy. In Minot and Bismarck, ServPro is your partner in transformation. We don't just build back, we elevate every space. Great news! If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up! Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by PSP Network. It's game day. That sinking feeling you get when this happens? That's oil change anxiety. The anxiety of being without a car with a billion things to do. The fear of being overcharged. The stress of not knowing where to go or who to trust. But you never get those feelings at Valvoline Instant Oil Change, where you can watch us work right from your car, and we finish up in about 15 minutes. We changed your oil and did our 18-point safety check. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Service you can see, experts you can trust. And from the 26-yard line nearing the serve pro red zone are the demons already. Handoff, Hanky. 
dances in the hole, now he speeds and bursts outside, accelerates to the 20, 15, 10, two touches, two touchdowns. Carter Hankey, this time they go left, and he just does what he does so well is he read the block. It wasn't off tackle, it wasn't off the guard on the inside, and he took his time, and he bounced to the outside, got a great little kick out block, a touch block, and deep downfield for the Demons, helping him out. When you think of the state of North Dakota, the borders, South Dakota, Montana, Minnesota, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba, that's a lot of area that covers the great land of Nodak. Inside of that state, there's a little thing called Class B basketball, and it's one of the biggest things that the state has to offer and only 60 miles separates two of the top teams in all of North Dakota. Tonight, we've got them live on the air here on the PSP Network. It's the West Hope Newburgh Sioux at 15 and all ranked number two in North Dakota, taking on the 13 and one Bishop Ryan Lions on their home floor here at the Lions Den. Welcome in to our pregame show brought to you by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Valvoline Instant Oil Change, it's quick, it's convenient, Cost effective, I'm telling you, they do a fantastic job. And Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Find them in and in Bismarck, five locations. 15 minutes or less, they get you in the door and out at Valvoline Instant Oil Change. I'm Nick Holberg tonight, joined by a good friend of mine, Mr. Bryce Gutnick on the call. While you're here, Montana, South Dakota, Minnesota, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, have you been to all those places, first things first? I, no, I'm missing Manitoba. Yeah. I have to be, yeah. Four out of five. Four out of five is not, not too bad. bad. 80%. Cover a lot of ground when talking about the bordering states and the state of North Dakota for Class B basketball. Right now, inside of our great state, it seems that the Magic City and the surrounding area is a bit of a hot bit. You look at Minot High School and what they've been able to do in the double A ranks. You look at South Prairie Girls in the single A ranks. Class B hoops, no different. There's some players around in this region that certainly can get the job done that have some spotlight on them, including Bishop Ryan and West Hope Newberg. It's two against four in the state. How much more thrilled could you be for a game like this? I mean, it really kind of has the makings of everything a key prime time matchup would have, including a prolific scorer in Walker Broughton, one of the best players, if not the best, in Class B basketball in North Dakota. How about this? Two teams from Region 4, from District 8. You got Walker Broughton on one side leading the way, 27.3 points per game, prolific score inside and out. On the other side, you got Ramsey Walls. We were here the other night. He put on a show for us, a double-double. I'm not sure how many blocks he had, Nick, but he about blocked one up to Magic City campus on one instance. Those two kids are probably going to see each other face-to-face -face a little bit here tonight. What does it take to win that battle between those two studs, quote-unquote, here tonight? <laughs> I don't know if I have an answer for that. The, the familiarity with the two, they uh, they play summer ball and, and travel ball together with each other. Uh, it, it's going to be a very interesting to see if those two go toe-to-toe -to -toe at some point, try and get uh, Ramsey with that long wingspan at him, standing at 6'7", trying to alter some of the shots that Walker Broughton will be putting up tonight here absolute animals on both sides these two teams coming into the showdown tonight 
sit with a combined record 15 and 0, 13 and 1. You can do the math. It's pretty simple. They've only lost one game on the year. And Bishop Ryan's that team that had the loss. They lost to DLB just a few weeks back. For West Hope Newburgh, it's a team that has been climbing that pole the entire season. Bishop Ryan's been in that pole the entire year. And all the way up to number two is where you're going to find West Hope Newburgh, the Sioux. Let's take a look at that media poll right now inside of our great state of North Dakota in Class B hoops. Here's how it shakes out. Bowman County's number one in all of the land. Bowman County is going to be on the air coming up on Monday night. They host Glenn Ullen Hebron. Todd Dombries will have the call of that one. That's a number one versus number five matchup next Monday. And oh, by the way, that same night, we've got Minot High and Century, a makeup game on the air with four of the top teams in class double-A basketball. West Hope Newburgh at number two. They received a first place vote this last week. North Stars, number three. They also received one first place vote. Bishop Ryan drops down uh, to number four. They've been as high as number three on the season. Glen Allen Hebron, as mentioned, number five. Linton HMB's at six. Sargent County's at seven. Hankinson at number eight. Williston Trinity, kind of the unsung hero story of the year, maybe for the Williston Trinity Club. They're at number nine. And then Wilton Wing, the Miners, are at number 10. Those two teams at nine and 10. They were receiving some votes last week. They hop into the media poll this week. North Star dropped, and so did Hankinson. EKM receiving votes. The Troopers from Garrison are as well. MLS, Alexander, and Ellendale are also receiving votes inside the top 10 in North Dakota. Any big surprises on this graphic in your mind? I tell you what, uh, it, it's when you're talking you like we do tonight, you got two of the top four teams. We talked about this in the before we went on the air, Nick. How about these challenge games? What a great year. Obviously, West Hope and Ryan, you got to think, you got to like their chances to make it to the state tournament. They're as good as anyone in Class B basketball. That three class system in those challenge games, I, I'm so excited, Nick. Couldn't be more thrilled for that myself. And oh, by the way, PSP Network will have them for you. Region 4 boys and girls basketball will be live on the air courtesy of PSP Network. Hope you join us for the entire Region 4 boys and girls basketball matchups along with those challenge and play-in games coming up just a few days after the Region Tournament. Class A and B come together with the teams out of Region 3 and 4 that took second and third place out of their respected regions. And they'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the teams that did the same in Region 3 to Region 4, if you will. You touch on that and just dive a little bit further into that. If you go down in history and look at the amount of times that maybe the best teams in the state didn't make the State B tournament because their region was stacked, this really changes that whole storyline now with those playing games that if you're a betting man, it would be pretty fair to say that you're looking at two teams that will probably be at the Dome for the State B this year. No doubt, Nick. Absolutely. When you're thinking... I got to thinking about this the other night. I'm glad that you mentioned it. There's so many teams, loaded teams in these regions, in these districts, like you said, that didn't make the state tournament. They're probably saying, hey, where was this three-class system when we were playing ball? So to, the opportunities that they're going to have, you know, obviously if you don't finish one in your region, you go play that play-in game, punch your ticket. Nothing like having another chance, Nick. Got to love it. The do-over, if you will. However, being crowned region champion is certainly something that everybody's striving for. We're going to look at the region standings and the district standings when we come back to the Lions Den on Minot's North Hill. It's number two, West Hope Newburgh, the Sioux. Taking on number four, Bishop Ryan, the Lions. We've got it for you live tonight on the PSP Network. in Bismarck and Minot seek transformation. ServPro's construction program brings both vision and precision. From that very first hammer strike to the final touch of paint, our dedication remains unwavering. It's not just about remodeling, it's about legacy. In Minot and Bismarck, ServPro is your partner in transformation. We don't just build back, we elevate every space. news. If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. 
you'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up. Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... PSP Network. It's game day. That sinking feeling you get when this happens? That's oil change anxiety. The anxiety of being without a car with a billion things to do. The fear of being overcharged. The stress of not knowing where to go or who to trust. But you never get those feelings at Valvoline Instant Oil Change, where you can watch us work right from your car, and we finish up in about 15 minutes. We changed our oil and did our 18-point safety check. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Service you can see, experts you can trust. Shields Visa is more than just a card. It's the freedom to go. It's a gateway to explore and do more of what you love. Imagine where the Shields Visa can take you. So join us in discovering endless possibilities. Shields Visa. Together, we've got this. the city of Minot, one of the biggest gems for basketball in the entire state can be found right next door to one of the smaller gyms in the entire state. That might be a stretch, but one of the smaller ones in the area for sure. The Lions Den of the MSU Dome. And tonight we're at the Lions Den here at Bishop Ryan High School getting set and ready for number four, Bishop Ryan taking on number two, West Hope Newburgh. Welcome back in to our pregame show brought to you by our friends at Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Timely service that won't slow you down, Bryce. There's no appointment needed. You stay in your car, it's a drive through oil change. We know you're busy. When you visit our service center, we don't waste your time or ours. Our technicians can typically perform a full service oil change in about 15 minutes. I can attest to it, let me tell you, they certainly do a great job at Valvoline Instant Oil Change. They bring you the pregame show here tonight. Once again, Nick Holberg, Bryce Gutnick on the call for the showdown as see both of these teams getting warmed up and ready for this region number four matchup. Let's take a look right now at those standings inside the region coming into tonight's ballgame. And these standings brought to you by our friends 
here this evening at Shields. They also bring you the Player of the Week. Shields brings you the Player of the Week and the standings on the PSP Network on this occasion. It's a big one tonight inside of the district and the region. Why is that? Well, West Hope Newburgh and Bishop Ryan are both undefeated inside of the district. West Hope Newburgh coming in at 15 and 0. They're 9 and 0 inside of region number four, seven and 0 inside of district number eight. Bishop Ryan 13 and 1 coming in overall inside the region. Well, they're 6 and 0 inside the district. They're 7 and 0 on the year. Surrey sitting back in number in the number three spot. TGU at number four with Ari Deemers. That battle for three, four, five is certainly odd. Six, seven and eight all right there as well with three wins inside the conference. It's going to be a dogfight in the middle of this pack. But when you put those numbers on the line here tonight, obviously you, you need to win basketball games at district tournament time to make the region. Then you've got to win at least two of them at the region to stay alive with that play in game. It adds an extra element to it as we talked about in our first set of the pregame here tonight. But winning a district crown, winning that region tournament, the amount of confidence that builds from that and also being able to play your best basketball heading down the stretch really is something that you can't put, it's one of those intangibles that you can't put a price tag on. In your mind, how big is this one tonight inside of just the standings for themselves heading to that tournament time with those words said? There's, there, I like to say there's a psychological side of seeing that number one next to your team name there when you're looking at these brackets and breaking them down and matchups and stuff. There's a little psychological saying, hey, we, we, we went on the road, for, for instance, if West Oak comes in here and wins, or if Ryan knocks off West Oak saying, hey, we beat the number two team in the state. We're the number one team in the district, in the region. So there, there's a lot to it. Uh, I, I, I'm so excited. How about the log jam in the middle of the region, too, there? I mean, Velva's playing better. TG, you almost walked in here and beat the lines the other night, had a shot at the buzzer. It's going to be a fun region, Nick. Yeah, speaking of log jams, by the way, at what point does the fire marshal come in here for number two against number four of the state? She is filling up tonight inside of the Lions Den. We're thrilled to bring it to you on the PSP Network. More of the Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show. When we come back, we'll meet our starting lineups. We'll also have our keys to the game. Then the opening tip, the Lions, the Sioux, a region four battle for supremacy at the top of district number seven. Won't go anywhere. This is going to be a good one tonight, folks. Live on the PSP Network. getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go. The team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. That sinking feeling you get when this happens? That's oil change anxiety. The anxiety of being without a car with a billion things to do. The fear of being overcharged. The stress of not knowing where to go or who to trust. But you never get those feelings at Valvoline Instant Oil Change, where you can watch us work right from your car, and we finish up in about 15 minutes. We changed your oil and did our 18-point safety check. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Service you can see, experts you can trust. School songs blaring inside of the Lions Den. Welcome back into our pregame show brought to you by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Locations in Monet and Bismarck. 15 minutes in a drive through oil change. You can't beat it at Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Nick Holberg, Bryce Gutnick on the call for the pregame show tonight as the packed gymnasium continues to fill to capacity for number two, Bishop Ryan. Sorry, number two, West Hope Newberg. I don't want to get 
taken out of here by all these West Hope Newburgh fans before we even start tonight, Bryce. <laughs> Number four, Bishop Ryan coming in to the showdown here tonight. Nevertheless, two of the top teams inside of the state of North Dakota. Let's meet our starting lineups for this ball game here tonight. When you look at West Hope Newburgh and what they bring to the table, it's almost the perfect chemical makeup. That's Bishop Ryan. We could start there. They start like this. They've got a pretty good makeup themselves with what they bring to the table. It's St. Dean Kaler and the big man in the middle. Ramsey Walls, you're in store for at least one slam dunk anytime they're on the floor. Coached by Brody Bosch in your number four. What is it that you like about Bishop Ryan? I tell you what, we were here the other night. I really enjoyed watching Hayden say off the dribble, creating for his teammates. You got Sheen, he's a knockdown shooter from the corner. Lundin does a little bit of both. He's on the perimeter, knockdown shots, and he'll attack the rim as well. Kaler, some huge contributions the other night, and Waltz is a kind of just a Mr. Do-it-all, blocking shots on the glass, points in the paint. Starting lineups brought to you by the UPS store located on South Broadway in the Magic City for all your packing and shipping needs. Back to West Hope Newburgh. That chemical makeup, they've almost got exactly what it takes to be a championship team. our service men and women god bless our veterans who apologize folks for those tech issues here this evening we're doing our best to get them straightened away for you folks here tonight the colbert bryce gutnick on the call from the lion's den busy lion's den at that it is jam-packed in here this evening ahead of this basketball game against two of the top teams inside of North Dakota. One more commercial break, we'll come back, we'll meet the Lions, and then we'll play hoops inside of region number four tonight here on the PSP Network. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but
there's nothing like that to get everybody fired up and ready here tonight inside of the Lions Den. Time for our keys to the game. They're presented this evening by our friends at Northern Plains Heating and Air. Northern choice to seal your heating and air game. The Northern Plains Heating and Air. West Hope Newburgh tonight. They need to silence this crowd inside of a hostile environment here at the Lions Den. And for Bishop Ryan, speed equals turnovers here tonight. If you want to elaborate a little bit more on what it takes to get a win here tonight inside of Region 4. I tell you what, on the season, West Hope only averaging about eight turnovers a game, averaging upwards of 14 offensive rebounds, Nick. You want to talk a way to silence the crowd, own the glass, own the second chance points. Showtime. West Hope, Newburgh, the Sioux are in black, trimmed out in their yellow and maroon. Bishop Ryan in their home whites, trimmed out in purple and yellow. Nick Holberg, Bryce Skutnik on the call. Bishop Ryan, number four in all the land. The Sioux from West Hope, Newburgh, number two. And we are officially underway as the Lions win the opening tip on their home floor tonight. Basketball is controlled here by the Lions as they work it around the perimeter. Shade off to Lundee. Near the elbow, goes to Ramsey Walls, works up, posts inside, up with a little teardrop, drops in. Ramsey Walls has his first two points of the ball game. Seen that early, West Hope switching on every screen, Nick. Why you hear that lion crowd come alive? Pretty emotional introduction here tonight, Bryce. As our well wishes and our thoughts and prayers with Tiana Weeks. Young lady, a senior at Bishop Wright, involved in a car accident last evening. She needs our prayers from across everybody watching on PSP here tonight. Thoughts and prayers are with you, young lady, and your entire family. Deep three on its way. That one just off the mark from Sheen. Rebound pulled down. Here come the Sioux. Keep an eye on this young man. One of the best players to ever play in our state of North Dakota. He's only a junior, already surpassing 1,500 points a year ago. Walker Broughton up top into the paint. How about that move just off the mark there? Missed for Arts, and it's pulled down by the Lions. They go back to work here with Jet Lundin. Tempo early is high in this showdown. You mentioned it in your pregame pre keys to the game here tonight that that could benefit Bishop Ryan in the showdown. Walls for three, bingo. Ramsey Walls leaving off right where he lay night, Nick. Five quick ones for him. Arts from the corner, side of the rim. Contested shot there. This place is loud tonight, no question about it. We go back the other way now for the Lions as it's Lundin down to the corner. Work back up top, Kaler inside walls. One-on-one -on -one drill, that's gonna be offensive. Jason Sharpie had the call down in deep and Ramsey Walls charged with his first personal. Gonna be interesting, Nick, to see some adjustments made by Coach Lee here, seeing if they're gonna decide to double Waltz down in the paint, deep under the bucket there. Anthony Lee in his seventh year as the head coach of West Hope Newburgh. Reigning district and region coach of the year from a year ago. Goes against Brody Bosch tonight in his fourth year. Brody's the district coach of the year from a year ago as well as they were in opposite districts back in the old region six days. Only one year removed from that as now we're in side of region four walls downtown, no good. He's got all five points early on in this ball game. It's gonna go off the Sioux and it will be Bishop Ryan basketball. Talked about it in the pregame, one of our keys. Ryan already forcing some turnovers, kind of speeding up the Sioux in these first couple minutes. Tonight's ball game on the PSP Network brought to you by Monad State University. Be seen, be heard, be you. It's Monad State's 96% of recent college grads are either employed or continuing their education at Monad State University. Kicked off to the corner. Three land, this one on its way from the corner pocket. No good from Blake Kaler, the senior. And it's pulled down by the Sioux. They go to work here with Bailey. Three attempts. Swoosh! Dalton Hawkins. Talk about a big three in the first points of the night for West Hope Newber. See if that settles down to Sue a little bit. Great pass by Bailey to set up that three ball. Once again, we do apologize. We are aware of our tech issues tonight. Working on a solution for you folks. We do apologize and we thank you for your patience. Lundin from deep, no good. Rebound pulled out here by the Sioux. They go to work now as they work up 
Onto their offensive side of the floor. Little runner. Kiss the glass. Count the bucket there. And Hawkins has five. We're tied at five. Hawkins, little teardrop. Pretty in the lane there. Gets us to five to five. Walls up top. Taking the call from Brody Bosch. Gotta love the atmosphere here tonight for this showdown. We knew it would be good. It hasn't disappointed yet. Here's Lundin on the dribble. Kicked it out wide open. Three land. That one came off the fingertips. Funny air ball there from Kaler. And we go back the other way. Broughton, he razzle dazzles. He's up with the shot, but he's fouled on the play. And Walker Broughton will head to the free throw line for the first time in tonight's contest. Serve Pro brings you the free throw shots here this evening. 24-7 emergency service with trained technicians and advanced technology at Serve Pro. Located in Western North Dakota. Walker Broughton 0 for 1 from the Serve Pro stripe. Talk about a young man that I don't even have words for how good he's been. If you get to 1,500 points by the time your sophomore year comes to a close, you know you're doing something right. To, this young man has been nothing shy of spectacular here in his high school career. He's got his first point of the night from the Sur Pro line, and West Hope's got their first lead of the ball game. Showing that full court press here, Nick. Here's safe. Little runner on the other side gets it to drop in. Lions take the lead back by one. Down to the corner it comes. Lesman worked it back up. Kicked away here from Juntman. Walker Broughton between the legs. In on Lundin, one on one. That's a good matchup with a couple athletic kids, a couple quarterbacks on the gridiron. Into the paint. Teardrop. No good that time as it missed. Stopped the mark for Hawkins. Now Lundin runs the floor with it. Lundin on the left side. Lundin off the mark. Rebound inside. Comes away to the Lions, and it's worked to the top of the key here for Sheen. Lundin sets it up. 3.25 to play first quarter. 7-6, Bishop Ryan on top. In a slugfest of a showdown here this evening between number two, West Hope Newberg, number four, Bishop Ryan. Lundin's got an open three land on its way. In then out, Walls towers up. Rebound, easy one for Ramsey Walls as he puts it in. Ramsey Walls has owned the glass here. It's been one and done on the defensive end. Another offensive rebound, a put back seven for Waltz already. On the drive, this is Arts. Works it back up. Quite a role player Arts has been here this year, averaging 6.1 per game. He's an all-district selection from a year ago. In the paint we go. This will be the second foul of the ball game, charged on the Lions, make it the third foul of the ball game. Excuse me, and the foul was charged on Bishop Ryan's number 10, Max at Sheen. Something to monitor here, Nick. Three fouls already on the lines here in the first. Season average on, from the free throw line for West Hope, 58%. Inbound play, Sue Hammond up top. Tonight's ball game also brought to you by our friends at Planet Pizza. Try that blue buffalo or just a plain cheese at Planet Pizza. You won't be disappointed. 701-852-1700. Lundin had the fly swatter whack on Broughton, and that's going to be Lundin picking up the foul. Blue buffalo or cheese, what direction would you go if you had to pick right now between the two? I'm a simple guy, but I got to have extra sauce. Got to have it on there. Broughton's back to the serve pro free throw line. He drops it in. Missed the first. He's got two for two now from the charity stripe. And Broughton has two points in the ball game. Cutting the lead down to two here at 9-7. Bishop Ryan on top. That one was Piers. It drops in for Walker Broughton. Sue are back within one. Maybe just a half and half. They could do that, by the way. Sauce it up all day long for you, my friend. Stays up top of the basketball. The Lions stamp right at center court. Lundin worked off down to the corner it comes. Ramsey Walls with the basketball. Back to Lundin. Thought about driving the lane, just goes back to Walls. Lundin dribbles in. Lundin, little runner. It's physical inside. Ramsey Walls uses the power and puts it up and scores. It's the Ramsey Wall show right now for Bishop Ryan. He's got all but two of them in the 11-8 lead. Deep three on its way, no good. Rebound, Walls pulled it in. 
on this hit. It has been one and done for West Hope. Lines not allowing any chances at second second chance points. Jump shot's going to be off the mark, but that was after the foul. <laughs> While you look at the history of West Hope, Newburgh, Bryce. There was a time where Newburgh was the team to beat 84, 85, 86. They played for a state championship. They lost the first two. They finally won the crowd in 1986 where they beat Belfield 94-77. Talk about a big time scoring affair that night for the 1986 State B Championship. Some sweet redemption. Here's a jump shot, Lundin. Oh, that looked good. Lundin drops it in. First field goal of the night for Lundin. Fall on the other end of the floor. We'd have to go back in the time machine. I'm 38 years old. I was born in 1985. That's been a while. Some success back at West Hope Newburgh time where the co-op was together back in 2003. Might remember the name Jordan Cooper. He's in the house tonight. He is in attendance. Another guy on that team, Mr. Cody Shep here. There's some royalty from uh, both these teams here, Nick, in the house. Yeah, there certainly is. At the serve pro free throw line, Braden Bailey, who averages 14 a night, sinks his first from the serve pro stripe. Second one on its way for Bailey, and he drops it in. Yeah, I see Matt Mueller over on the far side. He was an all-region player. Went on to play at Monet State University after his time for the Bishop Ryan Lions. Mueller against Cooper tonight. Who do you think would win at halftime? Oh, boy. <laughs> Talk about two pure shooters. Speaking of shooters, Lundin with the three. 42 seconds left to the first quarter of basketball. Lions by six. Crowd is engaged tonight. Runner, oh, Ramsey Walls comes up and says, I don't think so. Lundin's got it. He's going to run it up the floor. Lundin onto his left side against Arts. Kicked it out, tried to go to Walls. And that ball's going to be tossed out of play. Another look at the last one of the Bishop Ryan. Big block on the Ryan Family Dealerships replay coming here. Ramsey Walls good on both ends of the floor, but defensively at six foot eight, sometimes it's all right to have that gift. I tell you what, what an impact by him in this first quarter. Altering shots, he's on the glass. Super impressive. Driving in, travels the violation, losing the edge there was Bailey. Slipped just a bit. Lions get the ball back for the final possession if they want it here in quarter number one. Great job by the Lions. Like I said, they're kind of skidding up the Sioux, not allowing them to get in any rhythm. Handful of turnovers here in the first quarter for a team who only averages about eight. Balls to Lundin, two on one, quick break. Lundin tried to go inside with it at the horn. Final shot coming, it's up. Look good, oh, just missed there. Tolstead just off the mark. Well, it's what we expected here tonight. It's a dog fight. 16-11, Bishop Ryan's got the lead on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. News, if you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up, Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. Ted Bishop Ryan on top. Well, speaking of Matt Mueller, there he is in the seats. Watching tonight's ball game. Always great seeing some of those former players and alumni that still attend these games. West Hope Newburgh's got plenty of them in here tonight. Oh my goodness, slam time! 
time, Walker Broughton. Hello. Nick, the entire town of West Oaks here, and they all erupted on that one. Walker Broughton with the biggest points of the ball game on the alley-oop for the slam time. Whammy. My goodness. So talk about a living highlight reel. That was one right there, my friend. Into Ramsey Walls, off to Lundin. Lundin works it up top here with 7.30 ticking down in the first half. Walls inside, off the window, no. Oh, it's a battle in the trenches tonight, isn't it? Oh, Walls is down on the ground. Long with three, Sue. Where will the call lie here, Bryce? I think they got, Ramsey kind of got, unintentionally, they kind of ran into his legs there, Nick. I think they got Tolstead on that one. Quick candidate, by the way, for our move of the game tonight, brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. Anytime the alley loop, alley oop is in full force, it's going to be tough to beat that one for the move of the game tonight, don't you think? That's a, just a great set play to start the second half. Kind of catch him sleeping a little bit. Throw it up there. Broughton throws it down. Another foul on the play. Here's another look at it. Brought to you by Ryan Family Dealerships. Locations in Monet and Williston. Browser massive inventory online. DriveRyan.com. can tell you from experience, Service is second to none at Ryan Family Dealerships. Here's Jet Lundin. This is a deep three. Hit the front of the rim. Lions had possession for a moment. Off the mark. That was Jack Passa that had. Jack Pink. Thank you very much. <laughs> 645 to tick down. Pace, is that Pesa. correct? Pace. Pace. Well, I had it written correctly here, yeah, then. Yeah. I just couldn't read my own writing. We'll get him right. Yeah, here's Walls up top with it. We know this one. It's Lundin. He's got it here as he surveys. Lundin over to his left. Brings it back down to Walls. Deep three. Walls from downtown. No. Broughton had the rebound with some help there. They run the floor with it. This is Dayton Hawkins. Goes back up top. Arts from downtown. That shot looks a lot like mine. There wasn't a whole lot of arc on it, but boy, was it just perfect right through the cup. And Will Arts brings it back within one for West Hope Newberg. Ball's kicked to the outside. Three attempt on the other side. No good. Rebound pulled down. Hawkins. And we go the other direction now for the Sioux. Arts has it again. Heat check maybe. No, that one's off the mark. Rebound pulled down by the Lions. Aiden Say with the basketball. And Brody Bosch says let's slow it down and talk things over. 16-15. Bishop Ryan's got the lead with 5.41 left in our first half. Your car. You need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. Full crowd on hand for the dog fight inside of Region 4. Nick Holbert, Bryce Gutnick on the call. Overall, your takeaways and big ones of this first half of basketball so far. I tell you what, I think the Lions, I, I really feel like they're kind of settling here in this first half. Maybe a little too many perimeter shots for Brody's liking. I like to see him pound the ball more in the waltz. They haven't really had an answer on that. And for West Hope, the supporting cast is getting involved, starting to make some perimeter shots. See if that continues. Lions with possession, save from way deep. That one's going to be off the mark to the left. Rebound pulled down by West Hope Newberg. Brayton Bailey's got it. He'll run the floor with it. Kicked it off to Arts. 
Arts crossover move goes underneath into the paint. Back up top, Broughton downtown. That was short just off the front of the rim for Walker Broughton. Lions with possession now. They bring it up the floor here as it's taken by Hayden Say. Kicks it off on contested three. No good there. Mesa, this one. And the easy lay in is dropped in. Brayden Bailey has his first field goal of the ball game. Great look by Broughton, pushing it, finding a wide open Bailey. Well, the West Hope Newburgh fans don't like that call very much as Ramsey Walls was fouled on the play. Arch is going to check out. Checking back in, that's Hawkins, Dalton Hawkins, back into the contest. It's a fourth team foul already in the second quarter. We still got four and a half minutes left. Ball was charged on Arch. That's number two on Will Arch. Speaking of some bloodlines, he certainly comes from family that's been around in the books at West Hope Newburgh for high school basketball, high school football, you name it. Spoke to his aunt earlier on here today, Molly Arts. Speaking of studs, she was all district, all region. She went on to play at the University of Jamestown. She can out drive you and I with a golf club too, by the way, Bryce. Is that really hard to do? Oh, drive. <laughs> we have our days. We have our days, though. It's not hard for her when she pipes at about 300, I'm telling you. <laughs> She'd be a good scramble partner for us. Yes, without a doubt. Four minutes ticks down to the first half. Walker Broughton's got the basketball, and he's going to be fouled on the play. Jet Lundin called for another one. This is going to be quite a teeter totter match in that department here tonight at the speed and intensity that this game has gone so far here. Those five starters on each side gonna have to play on a bit of an edge here in this ball game. Broughton's got it into the lane. Broughton denied by Walls, rebound Lundeen. Ball comes back away for Jet Lundeen, other side of the floor, underneath the hoop. Oh! That was swatted out of there like a mosquito on the 4th of July, my friend. Hunter Tolstad says, I don't think so. Fantastic recovery defense. We had a few bodies on the floor over here. Tolstad comes down, gets a slot. On the drive for the Lions. Inside, Ramsey Walls against Tolstad. Walls. Tough to compete with that. Ramsey Walls has another field goal in the ball game, and it's 18-17, Bishop Ryan. On the drive. Hanging in the air is Brayton Bailey, and he's got two more. Nice little hesitation and go full to the rim by Bailey. Six for Bailey in the ball game. Over to Jet Lundin in the corner. Lundin's gonna hop up, throws it off of Bailey. West Hope Newberg basketball. Sorry, Bishop Ryan basketballs. It went off of Bailey on the play there from Jet Lundin. By the way, tonight's ball game is brought to you by Prestwich Orthodontics, specializing in braces and Invisalign for all ages. They offer 0% financing and free consultations either in the office or online. Enjoy professional treatment in a fun, relaxed atmosphere. Check them out at monitbraces.com. It's Prestwich Orthodontics. Lions with possession and Lundin. Lundin pulls up for three. Shot on count offensive the charge. The ball's gonna be on Ramsey Walls, and Ramsey Walls rung up with another one away from the basketball. That's number two on Ramsey Walls. Foul starting to add up here. Walls with two. I believe Lundin has a couple. Arts has a couple in this one. Sue with the basketball. How about that crafty little play inside? Broughton, they work it around the wheel. Deep three. Swoosh! Braden Bailey from downtown, and he nets a big three pointer to give the Sioux a four point lead. 
Take away on defense now. The momentum of the pendulum is turned in favor of the road team here inside the Lions Den. I tell you what, nice little spurt here by Bailey. That great hesitation move to that, get that layup, then the knockdown three from the corner. 2.27 to play here in the first half. Shorts and a polo was my attire for the ball game tonight, and boy, am I glad I made that choice. It is hot in here. Lions with possession. Mesa Throck almost took it away. Mesa's got it back. He's going to be bumped into there by Lesman. Boy, this is really a war tonight, isn't it? I tell you what, the intensity. These two teams, we've got bodies on the floor. Broughton kind of did a 360 spin going down. That foul does put the lines in the bonus. Pace uh, shooting two here. Pace at the Serb Pro free throw line. He's going to have the attempt. Serb Pro 24 7 emergency service with trained technicians and advanced technology. It's Serb Pro. He made the first. Second one on its way here for the 5'10 sophomore. And he sinks the second as well. 209 ticks down first half. BNC National Bank scoreboard has the Lions trailing by two. BNC Bank locations in North Dakota and Arizona. It's BNC Bank. Find them online, bnc.bank. Oh, they're going to say it goes off of Ramsey Walls. Sue Basketball. Coach Bosch looking kind of confused on that one. I thought maybe Tolstead tipped that one out, but they said it went off walls. Good officiating crew here tonight, Nick. All the respect to the world for those gentlemen on the floor and all the referees around in the sporting world. We thank them all so much. Brought it and up on the ground. There's going to be another foul on this play. This is a big foul right here. That's going to be number three on Ramsey Walls. He's going to come out checking in for Walls. Will be number 10, Max and Sheen. Let's remember this moment, Nick. 153 left here in the second. Walls picking up his third. Be a critical last couple minutes here for the Lions with him on the bench. Tossed it on contested from three land. Bailey missed. Stingy defense from West Hope Newberg. Inside, all oh, blocked inside on the attempt. Passa goes up and slams the door. We've got a block party here tonight, Nick. Both ends. Highlight real defense on both sides of the floor. That really just kind of sums up how this ball game has been here tonight. That's a real gritty effort on both sides. Suit him by the basketball. 140 ticking down, first half. Hawkins taking away. Sheen's got it here for the Lions. In double coverage, he's going to get it back up to Shea, and he's across the timeline. Sheen surveys from up top. Without Ramsey Walls, who's in foul trouble, he's got three on the bench right now for the Lions, but Lundin pulls up for three. It's off the mark. Who touched it last? Bishop Ryan, it's West of Newburgh basketball. I tell you what, every missed shot, there is an absolute battle in the paint going on every single time. Well, with Bishop Ryan's dominance inside of Region 6 and their state tournament appearances, I don't think anybody likes the Lions very much. New York Yankees, if you will, of the region. West Hope Newberg's got possession here. Underneath the rack, they work it back up. Jump shot, Hawkins, no rebound, pulled down. And the Lions have possession now with Lundin. Ask most of the Lions and a lot of their alumni, they like it that way. They like being the team of the big brother on the block, the favorites each and every year. State tournament appearances in 22, 19, 18, 17, 2011, 08, 07, 06, 04, 2000, 
99. 1994, there's Lundin inside, he's fouled. Well, unfortunately for Bishop Ryan, I listed all those times that they've been to the big dance of the State B. They haven't won a crowd since 1994. A lot of years of getting there and having their hopes fall just a bit short. They were a favorite last year. They got knocked out in the region title game by Delax Burlington and Carson Yale and company. Lundin from the Serb Pro free throw line, one for one. Second one on its way for Lundin. Nailed it. 14 seconds to play first half. We're tied at 22. Both of these teams averaging around 70 points per game on the offensive side. Defense has been the name of the game early on. At the horn, here's the shot off the mark. Well, was that first half what you thought it was going to be? I tell you what, Nick, 22-22, we were probably looking to, for a little more uh, prolific scoring game. We haven't had it. The defensive effort has been there all night so far by both teams. First half numbers, the highlights, stats, and a look inside of the region when we come back to our Magic Towing Halftime Report. 22-22 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by Apologize to our sponsors, but the gentleman with $10,000 on the line here. It's an arts from West Hope Newburg. He's got a nail one from three and another one from half court. You gonna do it, Bryce? Four seconds left. Time's wearing thin. Oh. Well, it was quite an effort, wasn't it? A good effort by him. That's tough. I mean. You think you could get the layup, the free throw, the three, and get a, at least a shot at the half quarter, Nick? Not easy, my friend. <laughs> Magic Towing Halftime Report comes up next. When it comes to your car, you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. When it's time to choose your team, you want to pick the best. I pick Carson Wentz. I pick Hunter Lipke. Where'd you come from? I was in football, just like you. Always choose people you know and trust for your team. 
like your community bankers at First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. For decades, Nodak Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. You have built an amazing life by working hard and doing your job well. Delivering financial advice is what we do well. At Ameriprise Search, to help you become more successful in today's economy. What we want you to walk away from each encounter with is satisfaction and knowing that together, we've done what we can to help you work toward a better future. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. We are here to help 24-7. Magic towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. Well, when number two and number four in the state come together, you know you're going to be in store for a good one. If you like gritty defensive battles, this one's certainly for you. Welcome into our Magic Towing halftime report. Nick Holberg, Bryce Gutnick on the call. Magic Towing, you blow it, we tow it. Magic Towing brings you the halftime. Bryce, over all your big takeaways from that first half. I tell, you, I tell you what, the defensive effort, like I said, is there on both ends. Coaches are probably maybe questioning some shot selection on both teams there. Uh, I feel like they were rushed and sped up at times. A lot of perimeter shots. Uh, get to that third foul on Ramsey Walls. What a critical point. But I tell you what, when he left there, I felt like West Hope had some opportunities. Uh, had a couple wide open looks. Couldn't capitalize. We're sitting here at 22 apiece, Nick. Well, it's time to take a look at those numbers and how we got to 22. They're brought to you by our friends and Ryan family dealerships for 50 years. Ryan has been the trusted name for car buyers in Western North Dakota. Shop their entire inventory at driveryan.com or visit one of their five locations in Monet and Williston. With those first half numbers, here's Mr. Bryce Gutnick. I'm gonna start with the visitor side. Led in scoring by Braden Bailey. He had nine big ones here in the first half. Dalton Hawkins added five. Walker Broughton just five points in the first half. Let's see if he gets cooking here in the second, and three, part, uh, three points, that is, for Will Arts. On the home side for the Bishop Ryan lines, led in scoring by who else? Ramsey Walls, 11 points in the first half. Jet Lundin added seven. Hayden Say had two. Jack Pisa had two. 22 all with a half left. Some of those highlights those numbers that you see, those are the offensive stats. How about some of the defensive stats in this ball game? Oh my goodness, we don't have that number tracked for you folks here tonight, but some big blocks in that first half. Here's how it looks on paper. Four scores on each side as well, Bryce. It's really been kind of a grunge match. Is there any of these numbers that stand off the paper to you here or anything that can majorly change on either side for the second half in order to come out of here with a win tonight? I tell you what, I, I think Bishop Ryan handled that press pretty well there for a uh, majority of the first half, but you see West Hope there causing some turnovers during that second half. The turnover numbers have to have to come down for both teams in here. This We may have an instance tonight, Nick. First team to get to 50 on the scoreboard might walk out with the W here. Yeah, and that's interesting because coming into the ball game tonight, West Hope Newberg scored 1,129 total points. At 75 per game, Bishop Ryan scored 927. That's 66 per game. Both teams holding their opponents under 45 or less. So you know that 
there is offensive dynamite there. It's just defensively, this game has been on lockdown. Once again, it's our Magic Towing Intermission Report. You blow it, we tow it. Put this number in your phone now, 701-509-4011. It's Magic Towing. Busy week again this week. I haven't been on the air for a while. We had Owen Patterson on the call earlier on this week. I was ill last week. I got the flu bug that everybody else had. Not on the air tomorrow. That's because we've got Owen Patterson taking care of Ari Neighbors and Central McLean and Girls Hoops at 730, along with you, Bryce. Mandan at Century of Boys and Girls Hoops. Then Monday, mark your calendars for a big Monday night. It's big, to say the least. Minot Century, Boys and Girls Basketball. Some of the top teams inside of all of North Dakota. Boys and girls from Minot High ranked number one and number two in the state, respectively. Century's the real deal. They're both ranked for boys and girls. And you've got Bowman County, the number one team in Class B basketball, taking on Glen Hall and Hebron. Todd Dobrys will have the call of that game. It's actually a 7.30 start for Bowman County and Glen Hall and Hebron coming up on Monday the 5th. Looking forward to that. Also looking forward to this, my friend. We've got a lot of tournament coverage coming your way on the PSP Network. You can watch the entire Region 4 basketball tournament. Boys and girls, by the way, right here on the PSP Network, we'll have the play-in matchups as well. PSP Network, our mission is promoting local athletes. We do that through the help of our sponsors and you, the fans, that Give us a like and a follow on our social media platforms. You'd be amazed how far that actually goes for us as far as promoting local athletes. If you could kindly do so right now, hit that subscribe button on YouTube. And the same thing on Twitter or X, whatever you call it these days, and Facebook. It's going to be a busy few weeks for us, Nick. I would say that that's a fair, a fair statement, my friend. I'll basically be off the radar here for five weeks, something like that. WDA hockey starting in just two weeks from now. Get ready for that, Bryce. That will be a lot of fun. And then we hop into our basketball schedule. I'm not sure what the delay is here inside of the Lions' den. I believe it's a discussion over the possession arrow. I don't remember any jump balls, so I thought it was black ball. I thought. Well, do we have it set now? That's the question. The officials come together. They've got their answer. Oh, we got white ball. And it's Bishop Ryan basketball. What's your main key of the second half? They got to eliminate the turnovers on both sides. I really think, like I said, shot selection is going to be huge here. Tried the lob inside for Walls. That ball was stripped. West Hope Newberg brings it back the other direction. Three-pointer from the corner, no good. Rebound pulled out of there. Lundin's got the basketball. And Lundin brings it off ahead. Sheen, open, deep, three, swoosh. Big time three there for Max and Sheen. He hits from downtown and the Lions take a three point lead to start the second half. Now a takeaway. That's huge, Sheen's been doing that all year, gets a wide open look. See if that gets him going here, his first bucket of the game, three point lead for the Lions. Got the bucket and the foul is getting up to the rack. Hayden Shane puts it in and he's fouled on the play. Shane had two points in that first half of basketball. He's got four total. Oh, the bucket must not have counted. Excuse me, didn't go through the hoop. I apologize. I love these first two possessions here by Bishop Ryan. Saw a lot of this the other night. Hayden Say attack the rim, gets fouled. Two for two from the serve pro strike for Hayden Say. West Hope's in black, Ryan's in white. If you're just joining us on the dribble, 
Hawkins intercepted Lundin. Here comes Jet Lundin, the junior. Up to Ramsey, Walls inside, Walls in the paint, puts it off the glass, spins it in and scores. 7-0 spurt to start the second half. Let's see if Coach Lee maybe elects to take a timeout, try and cut this momentum. Three-pointer off the mark, Arts with the rebound. Work back up top. Handling the basketball now, this is Bailey. Back to Arts, between the legs and those Nikes, kicks it back over to the corner, three attempt, up. Hawkins no good. That's been quite a battle inside. Tolstad against Ramsey Walls, and Tolstad has held his own against the all-district all-player and Ramsey Walls here in this ballgame. He really has. Coach Lee's been basically not giving him any help down there in the post, saying, hey, you're on your own. Body him up as much as you can. Lions with possession of the basketball with 6-16, ticking down third quarter. Wide open, say, dribbles down to the baseline. Kicks it back up, Walls, Lundin. That one's off the mark. Off the glass, that board battle continues on. Say somehow wrangles it. Comes to Sheen, back to Say, and Say on the drive with the left hand. Puts it up with the right and scores. Penetration from Hayden Say. So quick with that first step. Four points already in the third quarter for him. In between the legs and behind the back. Hawkins like an add one commercial. He's fouled on the play. Well, we've had some highlights in this one. Bishop Ryan came out of the gate swinging. This is to start the third quarter of basketball here, Bryce. And from this point on that three from Sheen, the Lions really haven't looked back. Arts dribbles in. Skip pass back to Bailey. Bailey surveys from up top. Bailey on say, spin move. Back inside the paint. Nowhere to go, kicked out top. Three for Hawkins, got it. I tell you what, the Sioux, very fortunate there. They're asking for a three second call, maybe a travel, turns into a big three. Todd Dobries, our colleague down in Bismarck. He's got some classic one-liners. One of my favorite that he has is when a game gets intense like this, like where it is now, he likes to say that it's in a lather. <laughs> and I would say that this one's in a full lather right now, my friends. Absolutely. Inside, Walls shut the door again. Ramsey Walls denied. Tolstead. And the Lions slow it down now with under five to play, third quarter. Walls, three land, pulls up, drops it in. I do like the game plan here. Second half, the Sioux trying to go at Ramsey, get him that fourth foul and try and send him to the bench. Lundin with the basketball. Walker brought in the first half, only had five. That was one field goal on the alley oop, slap a jab. Well, there's Walls, puts it off the window. Timeout coming for West Hope Newberg. And look at the Lions, Dan, man, they are fired up. And for good reason. 22-22 at the half, it's 36-25. Bishop Ryan midway through the third quarter. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's Magic Towing. We are here to help 24-7. Magic Towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's Magic Towing. Crowd is at capacity at the Lions, Dan. They've been elevated. If they're Lions fans, they certainly have something to cheer about. What's been the difference in this first five minutes of the second half, Bryce? I tell you what, get Sheen a wide open look there. The biggest difference for me, Hayden say attacking the basket. Ramsey Walls with another. West Hope Newberg coaching staff comes alive. Here's the Ryan family dealerships replay and Ramsey Walls with another block in this ball game. 
Whammy. Defensively, he has been special. Speaking of special, Walker Broughton, who averages 27 per game, not only this year, but last year as well. He's held to five points in the ball game. At some point, we see the fuse lit and him go off here. I'd like to see them get him more involved at top of key, get him in the screen and roll game, see if you can get Waltz moving. Foul on the play is Say tried to lay it in. Who will this be called on? Falls charged on number five, Trayton Lesman, the junior. And Hayden Say goes back to the serve pro stripe where he's two for two in the ball game. Six points for him tonight in the contest. See a Bishop Ryan at their best. Hayden Say's penetrating, kicking it out to shooters or finishing at the rim. Three for three now for Hayden Say from the serve pro free throw line. on its way, and in. Well, if the Lions can hold Walker Broughton to under 10 in the ball game, MVP of the night might be their defense as a collective unit. Here's a three from the corner. It drops in. Brayton Bailey from downtown, second three-pointer. He's got 12 tonight. Great screen there, getting the ball to Broughton at the top, driving, finding a wide open Bailey. Broughton on the guarding of Say. Ball's taken away. Clear the runway here, folks. This is Broughton slam time. That elevates the West Hope Newberg faithful on the slam of jamma from Walker Broughton. Missed three results in a fast break the other direction. Sheen takes it away, and now Lundin's going to slow it down here as he delivers it off. I tell you, I think the whole town of West Oak is here, Nick. They erupted on that Broughton throwdown. You and I talked about it off the air. Tonight would be the night to have a dinner in West Oak, I would have to think. The service would be immaculate. <laughs> Deep three, Sheen missed. There's no dining and dashing tonight up there, though. No. They'll, they'll get you. <laughs> Sheen with a jump shot. Five feet away, and Max and Sheen's got five in the ball game. How about the third quarter by Sheen and Say? Huge contributions out of them. Arts up top to Broughton, guarded here by Lundin. Broughton spins, puts it up. Oh, they're going to get Lundin on the foul. Ryan Family Dealership's replay of the slam of Jabba from Walker Broughton a few moments ago. Big play in this ball game, elevating the crowd on this side of the gymnasium. The travel the well tonight, the 60 miles from West Hope Newburgh for this ball game. Leads at 10, however, for the Lions. Here's Broughton inside, and the spin move from Broughton results in two points. Something you normally see those prolific scores get an easy play like that, get that dunk, kind of gets them going. Something to watch. Lundin's got three, Walls got three fouls. And Walker brought all of a sudden starting to get going. He's got back-to-back -back buckets, including that slam dunk, like you mentioned. He's up to nine in the ball game. 90 seconds left to the third quarter. Walls with the basketball, guarded by Brock. Kicked up top. Pesa, back to say, shot clock's at four. Jump shot, no good. Oh, did they get Ramsey Walls inside, Bryce? Either Walls or Lundin, oh, it was Ramsey Walls, and that's number four on the big man for the Lions. That brings Oakson back into the ball game. It's Ramsey Walls in foul trouble here with four. I tell you what, mark that down. 120 left. It's an eight-point ball game. Not sure when we're going to see Walls again. Let's see if Bosch maybe gambles early in the fourth quarter, Nick. Well, they bring the big man in, Coy Oakson. Oh, three-pointer, and a deep one at that. Dalton Hawkins, third three in the ball game. And the Sioux are back within five. Hawkins letting the crowd know about it after he made that one. 
Save, worked it up. Pesa, downtown, no. And there's a foul inside, away from the basketball on the rebound. Charged on the big man. Boy Oaks in at 6-6. He's a big body in the middle. He's charged with his first personal. He's going to check out of the ball game. Had a confused look on his face, just saying, hey, I was just trying to go up for the rebound there. 45 seconds, ticks down, third quarter. Number two, West Hope Newberg. Trying to take down number four, Ryan, here tonight inside of the Magic City in the Lions Den. If you're just joining us, it's been a doozy. Lundin up top, worked it back to Say. Say will take the call here from Brody Bosch. Shot clock and game clock separated by roughly two seconds. Taken away here. Holstead inside. He's denied on the play over the top. I'm going to say one thing, Nick. These refs are letting him play here tonight. Another look at it on the Riot Family Dealerships replay. How many block shots have we had in this game? They certainly haven't been on a premium. They have been on full display here in this ball game. Eight seconds left to the third quarter. Lions by five. Lundin's got it. Jet Lundin. Kicked with the foot to Broughton. Tonight's ball game brought to you by Northern Plains Heating and Air. They've got over 25 years of experience as your factory authorized dealer for AeroSeal. No other choice to seal your heating and air game, the Northern Plains Heating and Air. Find them online, northern-plains.com. And Mason Kramer brings you the ball game tonight. Game action shots for senior portraits. It's Mason Kramer Photography. Find him online, masonkramerphotography.com. Well, we've got ourselves a slugfest. Bishop Ryan by five at the end of three quarters of play. If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nice, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. Banking is some of the most important things in your life, and banking at the right bank is very important. We're really proud of our bank because we have great people, and our people are what make our bank go. We always want to treat our customers right and do the best job we can for them. And try to do things to help make our communities better. And then there was one quarter left in this showdown that's been quite a gritty affair tonight. Nick Holbrook, Bryce Gutnick on the call. Bishop Ryan leads by five at 40-35. Lions came out swinging in the second half. West Hope Newberg had a counter. They've got two more now as it's laid off the glass and in from Brayton Bailey. Great game by Bailey tonight. He's up to about 14 in this game, Nick. Well, they just announced the winning 50-50. Bishop Ryan playing with heavy hearts and a lot of prayers going out to one of their classmates again tonight, Tiana Weeks. We're all thinking about her and sending our support and prayers. She was involved in a car accident last night. A lot of love. Prayers coming her way. 50-50 proceeds going to that young lady after this ball game. Lead still at five. Anything in the armor, is there any chink in this armor that you can see that West Hope Newberg can exploit here in this 6.56 that remains in the ball game? Well, the biggest question on everyone's mind is, when is Bosch going to bring Waltz back into this game? It's so hard for these young kids to play with foul trouble. Like he said, big turning point in that third quarter with his fourth foul. 
what's he when he turns to the bench and, and brings it back into this one? Braden Bailey at the Sur Pro free throw line. Two for two, that came back in the first quarter. He's now three for three as he drops it in. Tonight's game brought to you by Monarch State University. Monarch State University, where more than 96% of recent MSU grads are either employed or continuing their education. Monarch State grads get jobs, period. It's MSU. Be seen, be heard, be you. UPS store located on South Broadway and Monet open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 7, and Saturdays, 8.30 to 3. UPS store located in the Marketplace Foods Plaza for all your packing and shipping needs. And Planet Pizza. There's no pizza quite like it. Local pizza shop that's been around for over 25 years. Obviously, they're doing something right. That's dishing up the best pizza on this planet, I'm telling you. I don't just say that because they're one of our sponsors. I've been all over the place in my broadcast career. It's my favorite pizza of all time at Planet Pizza. Try their lunch buffet tomorrow, 11 to 2 at the Planet. Deep three, Sheen off the mark, taken by Broughton. He's going to go down, Broughton. Did he travel? He did. I'm going to tell you what, I think Broughton got away with one there with a push on that one. Ryan Family Dealership's replay. Well, both sides of the gymnasium are screaming at the officials. You got another look at it. On the Ryan Family Dealership's replay. Travel was the violation, right call, wrong call. I actually, I actually thought they could have they could have got him for an offensive foul on that, Nick. But uh, hey, traveling probably the right call there. Maybe you'd like to see him maybe lay that off. He had some he, some teammates trailing down the the middle of the lane there to get an easy look. But uh, nonetheless, it is the Lions' ball here. Six and a half minutes. I gotta believe Bosch is looking at bringing Waltz into this game here. Not an easy call for the officials, not an easy call for Bosch either on when to bring Walls back in, but an easy call on what you should be doing during the Region 4 tournament. If you're not there, you should be joining us on the PSP Network. We'll have wall-to-wall -wall coverage every game of the Region 4 tournament and the Region 3 tournament, along with the Region 3 and 4 play-in day at Four Bears Casino in Newtown. How great is the Region Tournament time? You can't beat it. Best time in North Dakota in my mind. All winter long, it's been a really nice winter. We gotta thank Mother Nature for how she's treated us here this year, but high school basketball really kind of floats you through. High school sports, walls back into the game, by the way. That region tournament, kind of the pinnacle of it, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, it's time to get the golf clubs out. Pace and not thinking about swinging anything except two points into the bucket here. Leads at 44-39. Walker Broughton dancing, razzling, dazzling, and scoring two. They really haven't had an answer for that, getting the ball in the middle of the lane. Broughton coming off that, penetrating. Almost had a hand on it, and Broughton inside. Walls goes up, easy bucket. Ramsey Walls, two more. Boy, he's been busy in the ball game. Brian Fant wanted to travel there, Nick. Walker Broughton goes up, cut the bucket, and he's fouled on the play. Another look on the Ryan Family Dealership's replay. It's a really good job to block charge call. One of the toughest for these referees to do. I really think Mr. Charlie Moore got that one correct. You see him moving, drifting back like that. Usually a pretty easy call for the officials, Nick. Well, the credit goes to gentlemen standing in there and taking that as well. That's a big gentleman coming at you at full steam. Broughton missed his first free throw of the ball game at the serve pro stripe. He's hit four straight sips. Say outside, Sheen, downtown. Nailed it. Pair of threes in the ball game for Sheen. Broughton downtown. Just off the mark, it was in then out. Stingy defense, ball's taken away by the Lions. Ends up on the bounce. 
catch my breath. <laughs> I tell you what, another thing to watch there, to pick that up, Hayden Say, his fourth foul as well, Nick. The chess match inside of the game right now. It's been physical from the word go. Arts, left hand look, couldn't get it to fall. He got tagged in the face. Arts grabbed up towards the nose and eye. He's gonna be all right. There's gonna be some ice bags needed after this one, my friend. Lundin with the basketball inside the walls. Oh my goodness. Ramsey Walls has two more. Under four and a half to play in regulation. Sue with Hawkins up top. Spins to the left. Blocked on the play, but not cleanly. He's fouled. And some non-stop action here, Nick. Not much break for us up here. These two teams are just going at it. The fans are on the edge of their seat. They're up, they're down. Fun one tonight. I don't think you could ask for much more. Hawkins missed his first free throw from the serve pro stripe here in this ball game. Well, anytime you've got number two against number four in the state, there's a lot of hype around it. There certainly was about this one, especially when they're only separated by 60 miles. And it has been a hard fought ball game. It's not over yet. Peso to Lundin. It's the quarterback, Jet Lundin. He says timeout is needed. Brody Bosch wants to talk it over. The Lions have the lead, 51-44, on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Chase Visa is more than just a card. It's the freedom to go. It's a gateway to explore and do more of what you love. Imagine where the Shields Visa can take you. So join us in discovering endless possibilities. Shields Visa. Together, we've got this. High School Basketball coverage on the PSP Network proudly brought to you by Roger Ward Moving and Storage. They've been proudly helping the region with their moving and storage needs since 1942. That's a long time. It's Roger Ward Moving and Storage. Find out more online, rogerwardmovingandstorage.com. Well, Bryce, 356 left here in this ball game. 51-44, Bishop Ryan on top. Fouls are an issue in the ball game. The heat inside this gymnasium is an issue as well. I don't know if the right guard or speed stick, whatever you've got on is holding up, but I know mine's not working like it should. We'll see, interesting out of this timeout, see if they continue to let Hayden say attack the lane, maybe try and get Sheen an open look in the corner. Say up to Lundy, wide open three. Back of the rib, brought up against Walls, and Walls wrangled it in. Sheen, corner pocket. Ball stuck between the hoop and the backboard. Jump basketball. I should feel, I know there's a three over three and a half minutes left here. I feel like this is a critical possession here for West Oak. A must stop, I would say. Ramsey Walls inside has been really kind of the tail of the tape. He's been good from outside as well. He's got two three-pointers in the ball game, but defensively more than anything, Ramsey Walls has been a big reason that Walker Brown's been shut down the way he has tonight by shut down. 
Still got 14 points in the ball game. It's not a bad night. However, he averages 27 and is classified as one of the best, if not the best, to Class B hoops in North Dakota. Really like to see the ball in Broughton's hand. Broughton's hands. Get the guy who whoever's on walls. Have him in that screen and roll game. Try and get walls out of this game if you can. Save. Back to Lundin. Three pointer. No good. Broughton towers up after it. Here's Walker Broughton coast to coast. In against Lundin. Oh, it's offensive. Another look at it on the Ryan family dealerships replay. I'll tell you one job I don't want. That's the one that involves wearing the striped uniform. Looks like he wasn't in the restricted area. Like I said, those calls really can go either way. Tough calls for the referee to make, but pretty good position there by Lundin. Pesa downtown deep. Broughton's got the rebound. Under three to play in regulation, 51-44. Bishop Ryan on top, high, arcing, three, raindrops, no good. Walls, rebound, brought it over to Jet Lundin. And Lundin will bring the charge up the floor. Sheen's got it here, garnered by Arts. Back to say. Lundin, open, three, lad. Bullseye. Look who set that one up, Holberg. Hayden, say again. Ten point lead for the Lions. Broughton intercepts the basketball. Broughton's got it here. Thought about the three. Lundin all over him. Broughton comes away with it. Scoops it up. Scores the bucket and he's fouled. My goodness. And is it on Ramsey Walls as well? It is. That's it is, number right. five on the big man. Look at this play on the Ryan Family Dealership's replay. Great awareness by Broughton there. Knows he's getting some contact. Go down. Almost like you're completely selling it that he did. Get you with some contact. Fifth foul on Walls. Two minutes left to play. 17 now in the ball game. For Walker brought. Can you imagine? Too many seconds on the Lions. Westholm Newber gets the ball back. Brody pleading his case here, saying he's calling the timeout. None of the refs picked it up from him, though. Westholm Newber gets the ball back. Offensive side of the floor. Can you imagine what the games in the driveway are like? With this young man right here, Broughton up, gets his own rebound, lays it up and in. How about this fourth quarter from Walker Broughton doing anything he can to keep the Sioux in it. Full timeout coming here for West Hope Uber. Oh my, what a ball game tonight. Back to that statement. Walker Broughton's one of many inside the family, by the way. Starting with his mom, Becky, a two-time All-State player. She went on to play at the University of North Dakota for the Fighting Sioux. She had 2,000 points in her high school career. Most recently, his older sister, Ellie, she was up for Miss Basketball last year. She's playing basketball at Valley City State. And Hunter Broughton, he was dynamic. I remember him at my Beck Sports Days back in around 2010, 11, somewhere in that time frame. He was a milestone maker as well. He played college football at Minnesota State University Moorhead. My goodness. I don't think I'd be able to hang in that family in the game of pig in the driveway. Probably not with the combined points between the Broughtons. Really is quite amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I, I can't say enough about him just this fourth quarter, just trying to will his team and steal this road victory away from the lines here. He's got 19 in the ball game. He only had five in the first half. We're down to a minute 43 left here in the contest. 
Bishop Ryan ranked number four in the state. West Hope Newberg ranked number it's two of their five starters on the bench that have fouled out of this ball game. Save falling out with 91 seconds remaining. Well, that exposes some things now for the Lions in the late portion. You tell Brody taking some time to figure out what he wants to do on the substitution, bringing in Bowden Irk. Kid who doesn't get a lot of minutes per game here, but he's got to buckle up for a minute and a half here as they lead by five. 5'10", Junior comes in in a pressure cooker situation. West Hope Newberg with the basketball. Bailey surveys up top, goes to Arts in the corner. On the dribble, Hawkins back to Bailey. Bailey into the paint, little runner, rolls, falls in. Brayton Bailey adds two to his name here tonight. And the Sioux are back within three. Here's Jet Lundin with the basketball. Lundin, little Euro step move. Arts bats it out of there. Two players on the floor. Lions away with it. Still down on the ground. Asa from downtown. No. Broughton's got the basketball. Under a minute to play in regulation. Broughton inside. White steps, puts it up, and scores. What a game, Nick. One point lead, 30 seconds left to play. Pressure was on Jet Lundin. He's fouled on the play. Walker Broughton surpassing 1,500 points in a sophomore campaign. He's got 21 here tonight. Timeout, Bishop Ryan. They lead by one with 30 seconds left in the ballgame. Getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go. The team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. There is no place like the Country Club. 18 holes of immaculate golf, along with Golf Simulator, PGA staff, club fitting and lesson, driving range and practice green, pro shop, delicious food, endless fun in the pool, and activities for the whole family. Learn more and become a member today. What a contest. Down to the final half a minute to the showdown. Lundin with the basketball. Lions with a one point lead. Pesa with the basketball. He's going to be fouled. And Pace is going to go to the serve pro free throw line. He's been there once in this ball game. I'm sorry, it's not a foul. Excuse me. It is a foul, not a shooting foul. As West Hope Newberg had something to give. It'll be the next one. He'll put the. Uh... Lines into the bonus here. See how my brain worked. This has been such a physical ball game. That shocks me a bit. That one will send Blake Kaler to the serve pro strike. It's been held off the score sheet. It's got a chance to help the Lions cause as the foul was charged. Is it on Lesman number five? Yep, Westman. Yep. Kaler at the strike, drops it in. Two point lead for Bishop Ryan. How about the senior? Right up to the charity strike there, Nick. His first point of the night, knocks it down from the free throw line in a crucial time. Chance to make it a three point lead, bounces around, drops in. Three-point lead with 17 seconds left. Broughton's got it here. 
Arts in the corner. Step back, three-pointer on its way. Oh, just missed. Rebound underneath. Foul's going to be charged on the Sioux. Hawkins. Or is it on Broughton? Broughton can't believe it. But it is Bishop Ryan basketball. Little confusion. Oh, they've got... They've got Hawkins for that one, but regardless, it's going to be free throws for the Lions here. Third throw, free throw line gets busy again with six seconds remaining. Lions lead by three. Looking for the upset. You're trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off, seven, pressure, points, yeah. It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's a spot. Right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. The trick to throwing well is knowing where you want the ball to go. Like how the local bankers at First Western Bank and Trust take the time to learn about you and recommend the banking services like online banking or personal loans that keep your goals on target. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. The pressure is on. Pesa at the serve pro free throw line to shoot. Missed. It's actually Bowden Urk at the free throw line. I'm Nick. sorry, yep. thank you. Doesn't get a lot of playing time right to in. Price lobster. And know the market price of the lobster. How much is? Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips, it's a game changer. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers Moving and Storage. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go. The team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. Wondering whether you need wealth management? Wealth management is a multifaceted offering that should provide opportunities for growth and security. At BNC National Bank, we pride ourselves on putting your priorities first and providing practical, objective financial advice. Our team can help you assess your goals and take stock of your assets to determine whether wealth management is right for you. Speak to a member of our team today to learn more. And really trusted each other. Um, we got a little bit into foul trouble, but in the end, we pulled through, made our free throws, handled it, and trusted each other, and played together the entire game. The lot, great job, by the way, tonight, Hayden. Say. Thank you. Uh, congratulations on the big win. I feel like when the lines are at their best, you're penetrating, you're driving, getting your teammates involved. Saw a lot of that in the second half. Is that something Coach Bosch is telling you to do more of and point of emphasis for you? 
Well, he loves me getting downhill because I'll get three in a row where I can just get a layup or get, and then after that, they'll start collapsing and I just get all my teammates involved and it, it just works out in the end and it's really hard to stop with me and Ramsey up there. And we got great shooters on the perimeter, so it works out. Tied at 22 at the half. What was the big message from Coach Bosch in the locker room? Well, really, we were, we were still playing good. You know, the score, score might not show that. We definitely uh, were getting really slap happy and getting in foul trouble. But we just stayed true to ourselves, played our game, and continued to trust each other and play as a team. You guys shut down a very good West Hope Newburgh team here tonight. How much credit goes to that battle? It had to be fun to play in that, wasn't it? It, it was amazing. I love the crowd, and it gets, it gets really pumped up and really fun. I know that you guys are playing with heavy hearts and a lot on your mind here with a classmate of yours that uh, needs some prayers from us. Uh, any message on that? Yeah, prayers go out to Tiana. Um, very bad car accident. Hope she's doing well. Yeah, well said. Nice win here tonight, my friend. Thank you. Hayden Say, our MVP of the game, brought to you by Sport Clips. Heavy hearts a bit here tonight, but a lot of smiles walking out of here as number four, Bishop Ryan Downs, number two. West Hope Newburgh. It's our planning team financial shots crossroads post game show. Whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, planning team can help you every step of the way. Find them online planningteam.com and shots crossroads home to that delicious banana cream pie. I'm telling you it is tasty stuff at shots crossroads. Find them on the 2 and 52 bypass east shots crossroads home to the famous number 99 and many others. Team buses are always welcome when you come to the Magic City at Shots Crossroads. Nick Holberg, Bryce Gutnick on the call here tonight. And partner, let me tell you, there's certain games that you that you have highlighted on the schedule at the start of the year, and you, you hope that they're going to be good. You get a little closer to them. This is one that we had circled. It really, really was billed as a marquee matchup, and boy, it did not disappoint tonight, did it? I tell you what, what a performance by both teams. Uh, Hate to see someone lose in a, a tight contested game like that. I, I know we were only at 22 points in that first half apiece, but uh, I tell you what, the second half, what a, what a half by both teams. Walker Broughton tried anything he could to try and get his team willed them to a victory. Great performance by him. Ramsey Walls battling foul trouble. Hayden Say battling foul trouble. But how about the Lions? If you're Coach Bosch, you got to be ecstatic. You, you got a couple guys falling out, and uh, and you hold on. Huge victory for the Lions tonight. Let's see the numbers and how they did it here tonight. These numbers brought to you by Ryan Family Dealerships. Find them online and browse their massive inventory at driveryan.com. With those numbers, here's Mr. Bryce Gutnick. We're going to start on the visiting side for the Sioux. Led in scoring by Walker Broughton. He had 21 tonight. How about the effort from Braden Bailey? He added 18. Dalton Hawkins with some big three-pointers on the night. He finished with 11. And Will Arts finished with three. For the home team on the scoreboard, the Bishop Ryan Lions. Led in scoring by Ramsey Walls. He had 22 big ones on the night. Jet Lundin added 12. Blake Kaler, quiet night, two points. Huge two points from the free throw line for the senior. Eight points for Sheen. Eight points for our player of the game, Hayden Say. And four points from Jack Pesa. The final tonight from the Den, 56-53, Bishop Bryant. These highlights, those numbers brought to you by Ryan Family Dealerships. How about the blocks in this ball game? You called it a block party early on. And that was just in the first half. Second half was the same thing. We had some slam dunks tonight. Alley Oop, Walker Broughton, 21 points in the second half. Chance to end it or tie it at the end. Just off the mark. It really had everything here in this ballgame. In your mind, does this make Bishop Ryan that much more confident moving forward as a sure bet for the Dome. We already knew they were going to be in that conversation, but you get a win against a gritty team like this and one of the best in the state. Good for this time of the year, nevertheless. I tell you what, I, I really feel like the Lions are starting. I don't think they're quite there. I think they're really starting to get to that point of playing their best basketball at the right time of the year. Ramsey Walls fully healthy. You've seen what Hayden Say did on the evening, getting his teammates involved. They've got some guys out on the perimeter. Don't forget about Lundin. He's inside out. 
what a huge victory for the Lions, propelling them into first place tonight. That's the other thing. My goodness, those standings inside of the conference. Both teams were undefeated in the district and in the region coming in. And now coming out, there's a new number one inside of district number eight, region number four. Wasn't easy tonight. Those numbers on paper so you can see them here as well. What a ball game. When we come back, we'll have our move of the game brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. Look at the player of the game one more time. Look at the standings as well. Final tonight, Bishop Bryan, 56. They take down number two, West Hope Newberg, headed with 53. More of the planning team, financial shots, crossroads post game show. When we come back to the Lions Den. Stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off, seven, pressure, point, yeah. It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's the spot. Right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers. Moving in storage. Three point victory and an upset. Bishop Ryan taking down West Hope Newberg. Nick Holberg, Bryce Gutnick on the planning team, financial advisor, Shots Crossroads post game show. Coming into tonight, this is how they shaped up inside of North Dakota, Bryce. It's fair to say that those are two good ball teams. I can tell you what, that, like I said, we, we were kind of looking at each other as 22-22 at the half there, like I said, and uh, it seemed like each team was taking what other team did best, taking it away from them, kind of a struggle, but uh, I tell you what, we're going we're gonna to talk about, we're not done talking about these teams, and I tell you what, there's going to be, I don't like to assume things, Nick, but there's going to be another meeting between these two. I would have to agree, my friend. Bishop Ryan moves to 8-0 in the conference. West Hope Newberg drops to 7-1. Ryan improves to 14-1 overall. West Hope Newberg drops to 15-1 on the season. There's the standings inside of Region 4, District number 8. MVP in the game tonight. Well, we already heard from Hayden Say. The MVP brought to you by our friends and Sport Clips. Sport Clips signing online with a hairstylist today. I got mine done yesterday. Quick and easy. New stylist for me there, but she did a great job. Looks great. Looks great. Get the MVP haircut experience at Sport Clips. You can't beat it. Locations in Minot and Bismarck. Time for our move of the game, brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. Whether you're moving across town or across the country, Jobbers can help you with your moving and storage needs. Jobbers, locations in Minot, Bismarck, Fargo, and Aberdeen, they bring you tonight's move of the game. Didn't play a factor as far as wins and losses. At that point, it wasn't a buzzer beater shot or anything that helped seal the deal tonight. However, when it's this fancy in an alley-oop from outside the arc like that, boy, was that fun to watch. Great set play there by Coach Lee. A little back screen, freeing up Broughton for the lob. Thing is, when the throwdowns are great, but you know, those passes aren't easy too. So kudos to uh, to who made the alley oop pass to Mr. Broughton there as well. Arts to Broughton for your move of the game. Brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. Once again, moving across town or across the country, Jobbers can help you with your moving and storage needs. Locations of at Bismarck, Fargo, and Aberdeen. There's your move of the game. Rest of the week looks like this. Mandan at Century tomorrow. 
Central McLean at our Redeemers. Bryce and Owen Patterson will have the call that one starting at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show. Bandan at Century is a big one as well inside of AA basketball. And then on Monday, Minots at Century. Marquee matchup, number one of the night. Marquee matchup, number two, Bowman County at Glen Allen Hebrew. Number one of boys basketball, number five of boys basketball down in region number three. Minot Century boys and girls both are ranked to the top four of the state too, by the way. That'll be a lot of fun coming up on Monday. Bryce, your closing thoughts after we saw one heck of a ball game. I tell you what, like I said, it was what these two teams, we're not done talking about these two teams. They, they're going to match up again, and uh, I don't expect anything less than we saw tonight. Uh, like I said, offenses kind of struggle at times and stuff like that, but that's hard. You know, two great coaches taking away what they do best, like I said. Uh, Hey, that three-class system, we talked about it, these challenge games. Two teams like this that are looking state-worthy. Going to be fun, Nick. Going to be a lot of fun. On that note, one more reminder to you folks that are still with us. We'll have entire tournament coverage of the Region 3 and Region 4 tournament and the 3-4 play-in game live right here on the PSP Network. Big thanks tonight, as always, to all those sponsors. Frankly, without them, we just wouldn't be here. Big thank you to Owen Patterson on the camera tonight, along with Andrew Woodbeck. Job well done, gentlemen. Appreciate you so much. More than anything, and as always, a big thank you to all the military men and women and all our veterans out there. Without them, we wouldn't be here enjoying this sport that we love so much. Class B basketball, God bless you all, all the veterans, military men and women out there. God bless America. For my broadcast partner, Mr. Bryce Gutnick, I'm Nick Colbert. Signing off from the Lions Den in the Magic City. Upset alert, number four, Bishop Bryan takes down number two, West Hope Newburgh, 56-53. The final here tonight on a Thursday. Wow, what a doozy. Until next time, please have a good night and God bless. on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by PSP Network. It's game day. Whether you're looking for a full-service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, 
Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial. Member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC. A registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shaw's Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads. 